All right, what's up? How's it going? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you're not, well, hopefully I can make it better. I'm fresh out the shower, just ready to record this shit, baby. Today's an interesting one. Uh, I have an old video about a gold digger, and this one's pretty similar, but uh, this time it's a dude that's dating one. They're actually married to one. And if you're somebody who's not familiar with the term gold digger, allow me to define it for you. Gold digger, a person who dates others purely to extract money from them. In particular, a woman who strives to marry a wealthy man. So in summary, it's just somebody dating another person person for their money. But uh, yeah, not gonna waste any time. Let's look at this title. I found out my wife is a gold digger with this trick. She lives to regret her actions. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did he put her in an ambulance or something? It went from like a normal title to like a sinister one. I found out that my wife's a gold digger with this trick. <laughs> She lives to regret her actions. When you say that stuff, dude, you gotta clarify what you mean. I mean, hell, dude, you could've, like, kicked her out of your house and then she found another millionaire to leech off of. Two big L's. Anyways, before this video starts, if we can shoot for 500 likes, I would really appreciate it. And honestly, dude, if you like this video, there will be a sample of my bath water right at your door. Shipping and handling not included, dude. Completely free, you just gotta click like and then you'll be able to drink away. It'll be right at your door and if it's not there, then I don't, I don't know, dude, it must have gotten stolen. I mean, there is a high demand for it right now, so you gotta get to your door quickly. Anyways, make sure to grab your pop corn for this video and also make sure to grab your stack of a million dollars and let's just watch this dude roll the intro hi my name is norbert and i'm 25 years old damn two seconds in and i'm already about to pause it no norbert Norbert. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody named Norbert in my life. Hey, Pancho, you have a pretty weird name as well. I don't know why you're Yo. talking about it. All right, The Rock, chill out, please. I get that I have a weird name, dude, but uh. I, I really can't say anything, can I? Now I'm genuinely curious. I'm gonna look up Norbert. Why is there a dog on here? Is this like a famous dog named Norbert or something? Definitely looks like it. Hey, shout out to Norbert. Not the Norbert in the actual video, but the dog Norbert. It's cute as hell. Today I'm gonna tell you about the time when I suffered a memory loss. Well, okay, it wasn't really a memory loss. I just pretended to have memory loss. Oh yeah, as one does. You know, it's a commonly reoccurring thing that happens in my day-to-day -day life. You know, sometimes I tell myself, hey, memory loss would be pretty cool if I had the inability to remember events for a period of time. It seems like fun, dude. Might as well go tell people that I rail lines of ketamine in a 1950s built townhome bathroom as well. You know, I'm sure the people around me would love to hear that. That was oddly specific, but don't worry about it. Now, before you go forming opinions about me, just hear my story first. I had a good reason to do what I did. Honestly, I can't wait until we hear his very well thought out reason of why he would fake, I, I don't know, dude, having like amnesia or something. Watch it be something like, oh, I was, I was dating this girl, dude, and then she got too attached, so I had to forget that I even met her. <laughs> Honestly, some people are really doing it nowadays like that. People are really dirty out here, dude. So the thing is, I got married early in life. I was so madly and deeply in love with my wife, Alina. I was pretty sure that she had the same feelings about me and hence we didn't waste any time getting married. Now the trouble started arising after the marriage. Respect to all my married viewers watching, if I really have any, I'm not sure if I do. But like, why would you want to rush that? Marriage just seems like a lot of work, dude. I'm just somebody who cannot do commitment, especially coming into adulthood. I'd rather just do good for myself and live my life, you feel me? As that one guy said, I'm living my best life. That's just what I think about it. Eilina had some certain habits that were a bit problematic. She was a shopaholic and always asked me for money to spend on branded clothes and accessories. So we're currently at a tier one gold digger. She's dipped her toes into some Yeezys, some Supreme, but she hasn't really made her way to the, you know, Louis Vuitton and Gucci area yet. Thank God. You know, a tier two gold digger pretty much confirms that she is one. I just noticed this. Why does this girl look like a Karen more than anything? She's not really matching with the ideal gold digger look, but I mean, she definitely does look like she's about to complain about how her steak was overcooked or something. I need a manager! She went to the mall every other day with a bunch of her friends. If I ignored all this, then there was the fact that she was never too keen on spending time with me. Okay, so I'm sorry to the headphone users out there. For some great, amazing reason, the editor of this video decided that, hey, maybe the left ear should get a big boost and boom, now the whole video is only playing in the left ear. I mean, as an editor myself, I wish I had those types of skills, dude. Now, but in all seriousness, fire whoever edited this. Come on now. She was always free for her friends, but too busy for me. At one point, I started feeling like Alina was using me just for my money and wanted nothing to do with me, really. But then I thought maybe I was just misunderstanding and she just needed some space. Well, I was proven wrong. Her peculiar behavior continued and increased my insecurities. There was one of her friends in particular whom I really didn't like. His name was Vincent. God damn it, Vincent, what did you do, man? Why does this man's hair look like every single wannabe f boy's haircut, including mine? Wait, did I just roast myself? Why does this man look like a Tyler the Creator mega fan and listens to nobody else? He kind of looks like he's about to ask me if he wants to play tennis, dude. I'm just not getting a good vibe from this guy, man, and the name finishes it off. Vincent, I do not trust you. 
I'd known him since college days, since he was in the same class as me. There was a bit of a past between him and Eilina. He'd once proposed to her back in college, but Eilina was already dating me, so she turned him down and, well, they continued to be friends after that. Wait, so they're not even dating? Did he really just propose to somebody that he was friends with? How much of a high-tier simp do you have to be to propose to your crush, dude? Like, huh? I know the word simp is used way too much on the internet, but this dude fits the definition quite literally. Does he not realize that, you know, maybe getting to know her and then asking her out is a better plan? I mean, honestly, that wouldn't really even work either, because do you see this man? His name definitely fits his look, dude. But after my marriage, I had a really bad feeling in my gut about Vincent. Eileen used to spend more than half of her time with Vincent, and I couldn't even oppose this since, according to her, they were just friends. Even at night when we were supposed to be asleep, I often caught her texting someone on her phone. I asked her a few times directly, and in reply, she used to rudely dismiss me. <laughs> Why does this guy sound like such a loser, dude? I'm not trying to be blatantly disrespectful to my guy Norbert here, but like, bro, come on now. She used to rudely dismiss me after I caught her flirting with her NFL running back boyfriends she was texting. Like, what are you gonna do about it, Norbert? This man is like the CEO of being a pussy wussy dude. Well, one day I was watching a movie, which was about the memory loss of the protagonist. This is where I got the idea from. I thought that maybe... If I pretended to lose my memory, I could find out my wife's truth without having to confront her directly. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I had my reasons, which I've already told you. So, to go through with my plan, I waited for the right opportunity. Jeez, dude, you could have told me that so both of my ears could hear it. But once again, the editor's coming in clutch by putting the audio in the left ear for some reason. I know you guys might have not noticed it, but I'm looking at the levels of the audio right now, and the editor was going ham with this dude. He's switching the panning for the ears like every five seconds. Is that like a formula to get your video popping in the algorithm or something? Why are you doing this, editor? I must know. It came in the form of a business trip. I went away for two weeks, and during the trip, I included my best friend in my plan. He was my co-worker too, so he could be a lot of help for me for my act. When we got back from the trip, my friend, aka my co-worker, accompanied me to my home, and he told Alina that I'd got into a severe accident during the trip and consequently lost my memory. Okay, I see where this is going, but did they really have to say that they got into a car accident, dude? If you were to lose this memory during a car accident, that would have meant that it's a pretty bad accident. I mean, I guess you do you, man, but let's see where this goes. I played my part. I even pretended not to recognize Alina. She was shocked at first and not ready to believe that it was really happening. But then my friend showed her the fake medical documents that we'd prepared. She had to believe it now. Not to mention my amazing acting skills acted as a bonus. Okay, okay, I'll stop bragging. Norbert, you insurance agent looking ass. Don't gas yourself up too much now. I'm sure all you had to do was just act like a dog in the middle of your living room and she's convinced that you lost all your memory. Also keep in mind that your wife isn't really the smartest either. She shops for a living and she's the CEO of Karen's. Okay, okay, okay I'll, stop I'll stop bragging. Yes, please, shut up. I'm sure you must be curious to know what happened after that. Well, Eilina thanked my friend and then sent him away. Then she took me inside and made me lie down. She apologized, saying that she was a working woman and couldn't stay at home to look after me. Well, there goes the first lie. Alina was not working. Damn, she is already lying out of the gate. What is it with these lying girls, dude? We got another Caterino minus the dudes in this animation. Yes, I know the drama has already passed, but I still find the joke pretty funny. Now laugh with me. Nah, but for real, he really did catch her slipping on that one. Good on him. I'm starting to like this dude a little bit more. No, not like that. She was dependent on me for her financial needs. Then after a few days passed, she brought Vincent home. I asked who he was because, well, I had to keep up my act. It's kind of complicated, she started hesitatingly. Okay, so it's not looking good for Mr. Norbert over here. I guess him looking like a real estate agent didn't really get him too far after all in the marriage game. Why does he look like he chain smokes cigarettes, dude? Mance is going through a pack a day. Okay, I'm gonna stop cooking this man. He's literally about to get his heart broken by his wife or some shit. Let's just watch. You can tell me, I probed. I'm your husband after all, right? Yes, but there's something that you need to know, she replied. You don't remember it because of your accident. But before you left for the trip, we were on really bad terms and were contemplating divorce. And Vincent here is the guy who I really love. Damn, she really just confessed everything. Little does she know that Mr. Norbert, real estate god, is going to hit her with an RKO. RKO! I think we should get a divorce now and sort out the money-related matters, too. Nope. Oh. There it is, boys. I think that we can finally come to the conclusion that Miss CEO of Karen's is uh, actually a tier three gold digger. We're not even going to question if she's a tier two, dude. The divorce just shot her up the leaderboard, man. She probably passed Mackenzie Bezos and Black China on that climb. Jesus Christ, dude. Let's see what Norbert has to say. Norbert! Well, there went the big fat lie. Or, should I say the big fat truth? Good one, Norbert. Now go confront your wife. I told her the truth, and the expression on her face was so worth watching. She stumbled back in shock, 
and started making excuses. She even said that she was just kidding. I wasn't falling for this. I gave her what she wanted, a divorce. <laughs> Norbert the god, bro. He did not give one, two, or three shits, dude. He said, out of here. You're draining my wallet more than an actual drain drains the water, you Karen-looking ass thought. Get out of here. Honestly, dude, props to my man Norbert for the operation. I must say, I respect this man a little bit more now. They settle the divorce and whatever. She gets none of the money, obviously, and that's pretty much where the video ends. And also, that's enough internet for today. I guess the moral of the video is uh, don't date somebody for their money. It's pretty messed up, dude. You gotta find love with somebody instead of finding a way to their bank account. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. I do post daily. If you're already subscribed, first of all, I love you. Second of all, turn on my notifications. I highly recommend it so you don't miss a video, dude. I'm going to be streaming some Minecraft tomorrow with some friends. Make sure to tune in. It's going to be at around 8 p.m. Central. It's honestly just going to be me and a few friends just chilling on Minecraft, going on Omega, all that stuff. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and night. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Okay, thanks. For watching, penis, penis. now subscribe or die. I need your ad revenue to survive. No, seriously, please, I need money. I'm about please to go home. Please like on this video. Hey, it's your boy Keith. Subscribe to Poncho, yes. or else you're gonna yes. get the smoke. Just saying.